Hello. Oh, hello, Lou. Guess what? Hello. Hi. Right, today, apparently, I've been saying sandwich wrong my whole life. Sandwich? Sandwich, I've been saying. No, it's sandwich. Yeah. I found it out today. <laughs> Do you want me to, um... OK. Oh. Dust. What's... OK. That's interesting. Devise the most delicious dust. You have five minutes to choose your ingredients, then ten minutes to make your delicious dust. And serve it in this dustpan. Your time starts now. I definitely want glitter. I've decided that I'm going to go savoury. I don't think Greg gets to the size that he is, but I'm dealing with uh, non-savoury products. <laughs> I don't think that Greg gets to be the size he is by eating non-savoury products. <laughs> I have no idea why you're such a freak of nature, Greg. Um, <laughs> I have no idea whether it's diet or pituitary tumour. It could be a combination of both. <laughs> oh, I had no idea you were suggesting that I was tall because I was ill. I thought <laughs> you were suggesting I was fat because I like cheese. <laughs> but either way, thanks. <laughs> uh, Sean, obviously, first instinct, glitter. Yeah. You've tried to get glitter in every task. I've realised that it's embarrassing for a middle-aged lady to like glitter and princesses as much as I do. Do you want to see the glitter lady uh, dust herself off with Paul Sinar? Uh, what? <laughs> have a look. OK, here are Paul and Sean. OK. That looks dusty. It's got a big serving. It's going to be a big serving. Mm. Popping candy. How much are you planning to make? Well, Greg's a big lad. Not just got the demeanour of a king, he's the size of Henry VIII. What can you tell me about Henry VIII? Um, Henry VIII was a murderous misogynist, is I think the best way to describe him. He's been transformed into a figure of respect by a patriarchal educational system that doesn't really care for the fate of wives. But other than that... <laughs> Look at that for dust. Oh, don't hurt yourself. Oh, have you hurt yourself? Oh, no, you've grated yourself. Oh, that looks horrible. Just a, maybe a rubber glove. Just worried about your fingers, cos you're already bleeding out of one of them. Oh, yeah. Mm. Some glitter. Oh, oh, oh God. I'm trying to pick it up using the, the brush. Mmm, <laughs> it's very nice. Here we go. Try. You don't. Mm. <laughs> mm. The popping happens afterwards. <laughs> right. Well, thank you. Enjoy. Will do. <laughs> right. Well, I'm, I'm going to have to take your lead on this to some degree. I mean, was the flavour improved by both contestants' blood? <laughs> <laughs> Mine and Paul's DNA inside you. <laughs> <laughs> if they were both either ends of the sweet and savoury scale. They were, they, they were quite nice, I suppose. Could I argue that most of Sean's dust, maybe the work was done for her by sweet manufacturers? I did grate my own chocolate. And yours was grated cheese. I yeah, just wanted to go for delicious parmesan and pancetta. Let's allow them both as dust. Now, you tell me which was the most delicious of the two. I really like Paul's. Sorry, I just preferred it. Well, Fourth think... place! <laughs> Get it! That's fine. <laughs> Next up, presenting the vegan dust option, it's Lou Saunders. Oh. I'm just making some dust, yeah? The most delicious dust, yes. Enemy, an enemy of Greg's. That would be delicious for him. Who are his big enemy, his main three enemies that are dead? That are dead. OK, so, so, so racism, nobody likes racism. So maybe we have something that typifies racism and we burn it and then we eat the dust. Good. Well, let's keep it light, actually. <laughs> oh, a rasnag. You know the sexist ones. Uh, well, it's porn, but it's not done in a tasteful way. We burn it and then we top it off with fizz whiz. What is fizz whiz? It's the popping candy. <laughs> Disgusting. Something naughty, something nice, here we go. 
I would just suggest I eat this. Tongue in the bowl. <laughs> just tongue in the bowl? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> tongue in the bowl. Delicious. It's, it doesn't feel nice because you're eating out of a bloody pan, but that's not my rules. I don't like the black bit. I flambe the bowl. <laughs> Uh, Razmag. I called them Jazzmags when I was a young man. Yeah, you can call them Jazzman. Jazz or Raz? Clunch. I... <laughs> nice. Nice to combine popping candy with a powerful statement. Mm. Lovely. She's like, she's like she was burning the objectification of women and then getting you to consume it. But was it delicious? No, it wasn't. <laughs> I've eaten a lot of things on this programme. This is the worst thing I've ever eaten. The popping candy was lovely, but um, it had a lot of burnt porn. <laughs> Next up, we've got two guys. Let's call them Joe. And let's call them the other one, Ian. <laughs> I'm gonna take out some of the lumps. Das! Just the one, baby bell. Das! Das, the chutney. The chutney's just to make it look nice, yeah? I feel bad just scraping bits of pork fat off my hands and then asking you to eat it. That's not really dust, is it? What's that, just a salt? How much salt are you putting on to? Fair amount. So this is cracker dust, and with your crackers you've got cheese, baby bell dust, mm -hmm. stilton dust, mm -hmm. cheddar dust. Um, we have crispy pork skin with some uh, chicken reduction, and then to follow we have a violet sherbet with a bit of honeycomb. Who's that? What's odd about it is that a cracker is normally crunchy. It's not crunchy. No, it'll go gloopy, won't it? What do we think? No, it's salty. It's salty? OK. Ooh. Yep. OK. In a good way? No. In a... <laughs> oh. mm. <laughs> I think you could actually use this as a straw. <sighs> it's good. Yes, <laughs> it works! <laughs> Watch, that's the driest thing that's ever happened. Yeah, so this is, uh, this is pudding. OK. Atta boy. How's that? Oh, that's lovely. That's good? Mm, that is nice. Well, nice to spend this time with you. Thanks. Joe seemed like a professional waiter. Yeah. Posher than a waiter. Head waiter. Small servings, but beautifully presented. Mm. And we sat down next to each other, didn't we? We did. You always sit next to the waiter in a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> the waiter watches you. Yeah. yeah. And, and when you leave at the end, the waiter's emotionally crushed. <laughs> well, the main course was over, over salty. We saw that. Yeah, yeah, it was. Because um, it was mainly, mainly salt. Um, <laughs> but then set off by the dessert, which was delicious. That was um, made of palmer violets. Yes, it was. And there was so little um, burnt porn in, in it. <laughs> yeah. Right. Ian. I know that you've uh, dealt with sandwich, but we should probably talk about chutney. Chutney. <laughs> <laughs> I have learned more about myself on this show than I would have liked. Were his multiple dusts nice, though, to, with the, the chutney <laughs> alongside them? They were, they were ambitious, definitely. It was a yeah. full... Well, at yeah. one point, you started snorting feta, as far as I can work out. <laughs> chopping up lines of cheese. Yeah. <laughs> it was good. It was good. We had a nice time. It was tasty. Nice time for two nice guys, would you say? Yes, it was a smorgasbord of dust. Do you want to score them? Oh, I really want you to score them, because I didn't eat them. I enjoyed Lou's concept, but didn't enjoy the taste, I have to be honest. One point to Lou. OK. Two points. Well, the next? Sean's and Paul's were both very basic, very savoury, very sweet. Yes. Uh, Joe's was the second best. I would say Ian's was tremendous dust. We go two points to Sean, three points to Paul, uh, four points to Joe, and five points to Ian. There Back. we go. Got it. For more Taskmaster, subscribe now!